Hello, we are in America, in, hang on, South Carolina, and this is called Shem Creek. And yeah, pretty excited to be here. I'm um, due to teach at a workshop. So we've come here to have a little practice and a paint and a warm up. And it's sadly, the weather is not great today. Um, a, a tropical storm is coming. So please bear with us with the wind. We've got our microphones. And yeah, so I'm liking this, these shrimp boats, traditional boats. And that's the Playboy one is the one that I'm hoping to paint. Uh, with the blue uppy things and the buildings behind, I thought it was a good composition. So quite excited to have a paint first one. Woohoo, come on then. I forgot to say, do like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel, Claire Bowen Artist. Thank you. Decided to have a little bit of colour on this board, toned it, or tinted it, I'm sorry, with um, burnt sienna and yellow ochre. I just think it would help um, harmonise. And this is a 10 by 12 MDF board, so wooden board with three coats of acrylic pri primer. Um, if there's any questions, I'm happy to answer anything. So do stick a comment in. Um, so the person I'm doing the the company is called Field and Flow, and a lovely lady runs it called Fallon, and I totally recommend her. So do look her up. The I'll company you're doing the workshop. The workshop with, with. yes. Yeah, sorry, thank you, Mr. B. Introducing Mr. B, my husband. He helps me with all these videos. I'm just going to turn around. I'm here, live, <laughs> as and on set. <laughs> Hello, Mr. B. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Good. Um, Let's got yes. that over with. Yes. So I'll um I'll put her in. On, on the thingy underneath. Links. Uh, the, de the description. So, right, I've just tinted it a little bit, that colour, so it's just taken off the white. I have also tied my palette and easel to the, po the thing here. I always carry rope with me because it's useful. Um, so hopefully it won't tip over. And I always find this bit a little bit kind of, you know, I've got a lot, a lot of kind of nervous energy, you know, to be able to start the painting because you want it to kind of work out. You're not sure how it's going to go and what composition you're going to do. Even though I've got an idea, it's still quite an uncertainty and it brings a little bit of kind of whoo, energy. energy and uncertainty and oh my goodness. So we flew in last night um, to America to, we landed in Charleston, um, took 19 hours of, dry, of traveling. Um, so feeling a little bit kind of funny today, but I'm, I'm very excited to be here. It feels amazing. So I'll stop talking and start painting. I'm getting my eye in, it takes a bit of time to feel the subject out. Um, I think this, I'm quite liking having them both in and because I like the houses behind with the, the green roofs um, and the shapes are quite nice. Also Nick has, Mr B I should say, has just told me what these arms are and they are called derricks. Is that right? Yes. I think so. That's what well, we think that's what they are in the UK. We don't know if they are here. Um, but they really help with the composition because they're some nice uppies. Um, which really, you know, when you've got lots of lines that way, you need lines that way too. I'm getting the main shapes in. I don't want it to be like a really tight drawing. It's just, especially as it's a new place, I'm just getting the, the main elements um, kind of to 
give me a structure and then I can I can start I like this roof as well he's nice that shape um, the wind is blowing my arm and the paintbrush so you know I go to do a stroke and it it pulls it away which is a little bit tricky the whole board wobbles as well isn't it yeah I need my oh I don't know if I've got it with me use a board I'm just going to do uh, an upright it helps to have something to use so check that I've got it in the right place it's the mast so it's a roundabout there I'd say And animates, what are they called? Uh, yeah, but dolphins. Mr. B. Hello. Okay. So I'm kind of sussing out the colours. Um, it's when you go to a new place, it does, you know, you kind of need to learn what the colours are and the light. Uh, so I've just been having a little play with some colour in here, and I've got cobalt, um, cadmium yellow, and scarlet red mixed up in that. So it's three primaries and white, um, and that's going to probably be the start off to my my hull of my boat so it's a white boat but of course um, white is never white uh, it depends on the, the light and the colors around it um, so I'm going to put it as a base first it's in shadow Ooh. gosh I got some terpsy paint so I've thinned down and I'm just going to start blocking in, looking for the shadow shapes. There's not much light on that boat at the moment, but it's coming round, so there will be more. Um, so this boat is a similar colour. I'm going to maybe make it a little bit more yellowy. lemon yellow in there okay so I'm going to now look for all the other shadow areas especially with this sort of color because I can then use this brush I've just wiped my brush Know, with a bit of paper towel to get the excess off and then I'm going to a similar colour there anyway um, it's a darker version of it so the shape in here it's quite good when it they're similar they can kind of link up together I'm squinting my eyes and looking for any other um, shapes or colours that are similar, you know, in the shade. Just have that down there. So also I'm simplifying, so it's quite busy in there and I'm not going to put the whole thing in, it's too much. But already you can kind of see a, a, something emerging, even just putting those basic bits in. Um, I want to, I think I want to get the, um, the derricks 
derricks and the masts in because then it's like putting a found a, what would you call it skeleton thank you a skeleton in and then you work around it instead of trying to put it over the top um, because it it gets all slippery and slidey and you can't make a nice um, clean uppy or whatever so I'm going to put that in now cobalt seems to work well for this it's quite useful that I, I did the base of the hull as cobalt as well so it means it's going to link nicely um, I'm going to use the same brush and have my 8x10 board just to help me with the um, line. steadying it, yeah, the line. It's hard because it's I'm being blasted. It gives an idea. Because also it's it ha actually helps to have it a little bit oh excuse me, a little bit thicker than it's going to be because then I can, oh, can go up to it with the, with the light. Gosh, it's so windy, I'm struggling a little bit. There we go. I'm still working on the darks and I've done some raw umber, ultramarine and yellow ochre and it gives a kind of a cool almost greeny dark which is useful for um, under the boardy walk thing. gusts are quite big. <laughs> I'm going to put a dark layer at the bottom and then I can change it a bit later. This helps. I'm sticking the darks in. So there's darks underneath the awnings uh, and it gives a, a structure to it. Putting these darks in now. Almost like a map. That's all right. Uh, looking over here as well, they're a lot lighter because they're further away. I don't have to put everything in, you know, it's just a, um, because it can be a little bit too bitty if I put it all in. So I think I'm getting there with all these extras. I've kept it, um, as you can see, quite um, hot, uh, what would you call it, close palette, you know, there's, it's basically blues mixed in with a little bit of raw umber. Um, so 
it's not too many colours which can make a more harmonised palette and you know pleasing painting. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to start on um, some of the lights now, so I'm going to go to the lightest lights, which is that roof. If I squint my eyes, that really stands out. And I'm going in for um, a warm white, which is a nice base, it's a Michael Harding one. And a little bit of Naples yellow deep. So I don't want it just white, it needs to have some colour in and a tiny bit of scarlet, not much. So you can't really tell at the moment if that's going to be okay or not. I'm going to make it a bit stronger and then I can go lighter after. More colour on there. Oof. Big gusts. Coming through now. I'm looking for any lights. Um, any other lights that are as bright. You can see that I'm not putting much detail in at this point. I'm just blocking in the shapes. any lights. of kind of blue and green. It's bluer down here and then where it's more uh, the, the wind is on it, it's, it, it makes it um, greener. There isn't much reflection today sadly um, but the colour is quite pretty. So I, I just want to cover this board and get some colour on there. I'm using um, cerulean blue, cadmium Beautiful. yellow and scarlet red. Um, so there is a bit of, a, a little bit darker shadow underneath the boat. I don't tend to use terps to clean my brushes. I, I have a brush per colour um, and then I might just wipe off in between because I don't like it too thin. Uh, it makes the brush too wet uh, with terps if I you know, wash it out, so I don't tend to. Um, so then I can just go back and use it on a similar colour. I would use the same brush. I wanted to make a little bit yellower option here. So I've got yellow ochre and cerulean as a, as a start off. I can see that there's some light in here, I don't know if you want to show that. Here it is on there. And a bit in between as well. You can see when the next gust is coming through. Uh oh. <laughs> Cover this board. Hello. 
speak, oh wise one. I've just eaten chocolate. <laughs> um, the colour of the roofs, I've intensified the colour that I had in the water, added a little bit more yellow to it. Um, and then at least it links as well, the colours link. quite cool um, so then I'm looking for any other colors in this I'm getting the basic shape Cerulean. This, I'm going to do some foliage now for the trees. Foliage. Foliage. Cerulean, um, yellow ochre and a little bit of scarlet red. If they're quite warm I think it's because it's autumnal. Um, so that's why it, It's surprising how many things, you know, when you do a plein air, what you battle against and uh, today it's the wind. Just wipe that off. That's one of my old hankies making an appearance. Yes. Very useful. Uh, I snaffled them without even knowing. Been looking for that one. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. B. <laughs> so I'm using a um, ultimate short flat. It's a rosemary co. So it's a bristle brush. So you can see the, you know, it kind of works well with the foliage. You know. I'm, I don't want it too blocky in other words, it needs to be natural. Excuse the um, chatting behind. We've got a birthday behind us. Yes, there's a birthday. No singing yet though. No. This one is a, um, an ivory long flat, which is um, a synthetic, but it's, it's a bit more... Uh, Forgiving? <laughs> it's softer than a, than a bristle, which is quite useful for going in between things and making it quite gestur gestural. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I've used cobalt again for the sky with some lemon yellow and a little bit of red just to bring down the blue a bit because it can be too blue otherwise. So what I'll also do is put some, not that because it's too light, but put some blue on top of this water to make it look like it's reflecting down. I've got a few little fluffy clouds up there as well. Come around the post and show you some fluffies. So the workshop before mine, because Fallon, the lady who's running the, the workshop that I'm on, um, she has other workshops going on. So the one before mine, um, we've met some of the students, which has been so nice, because uh, they're painting here today as well. So, uh, so friendly, people have been so friendly so far.
Yeah, hello to Debbie and Martha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we just met them. There, okay. I'm now going to put some of the, um, the lighter, warmer colour in. I'm going to use the same brush um, with a little bit of um, Michael yellow. Harding and, thank you, Cad Yellow. <laughs> Gosh, you could do some painting, Mr. B, because sure. you know so much now. No, well then, who would video? Ah, oh, true. Yes. Oh, here we go again. Hold everything. So the colour of my um, board is quite useful because it's quite similar to the cloud colour. It's maybe a little bit too orange, but uh, it gives me a good base. So um, do the the line of the the trees and the, the buildings with doing the sky so I can go back in and define some of these shapes which helps as well and the tree I haven't put any branches or any um, trunk in yet which also helps give that kind of some form I'm going to put sky holes in, in that tree. Okay. It's always, um, halfway through the painting that it's quite hard to kind of keep the momentum especially when you're being hammered by the wind um, but it's a fun subject and I want to just kind of bring it together a little bit now and I've, I've got the, the foundation in so I'm going to get the the tree trunk in now I think that would help um, so I've used some raw umber um, yellow and this blue mix here so then it kind of links together as well. Uh, making sure I haven't done it too dark because it is quite, quite a light trunk. Doesn't really look that way on the video. Doesn't it? No, but it is. <laughs> Just have to take our word for it. Yes. basic um, shapes of that trunk. It doesn't have to be exact. Just give the essence of it. The uprights of the um, pontoon thing. Um, they're similar but they've got a little bit more yellow in. So I'm using the yellow from the trees. So it's the same yellow. base colour in and then lighten it up if I need to or darken it. it just 
just gives an idea of, of them. And I'm not going to put as many in as there are, because there's, there's quite a lot. <laughs> they have quite a green glow. Putting in the shadowy areas back here on that white building, um, which will help, I think, fill in the gaps. It doesn't help when you've got things, you know, that you haven't painted in. So I'm just looking all the way around to see where I can put this. work on these boats a little bit because I think it will help um, kind of see how the painting's going. They're all a bit rough at the moment um, so I need to pull it together a bit. And look for where the um, light and darks are on there getting another brush so there's some there's light catching in here I think that would work to have a bit more light in it I'm using my mixes that I've already done so I've got that and that that I've mixed together quite direct no kind of tentativeness which I feel quite tentative because it's an unknown subject for me even though it's a boat it's still you know the setting and the colors and the light it's all different so you have to be a little bit kind to yourself and say it's all right you know you're doing all right And we haven't been blown away yet. Cool, I feel like I'm being battered. It's so much harder with the wind. Also get some this filled in, I think. Oof, enough already. It's not me zooming in and out, it's me wobbling in and out. Yes, please excuse. like this wheelhouse of this boat needs some attention you got these the little windows on there that really kind of help shape it so when you're doing that it's kind of like drawing with a brush um, to add some of the the detail and we've got a shadow under there as well it's not very strong but it helps to put it in so it's coming I think um, just 
also looking for other shadowy shapes as well. This roof is needs some work. going to go back to that wheelhouse for a moment and see if I can make it a bit more accentuated with the light on there. It's got quite strong light. It's where the light's hitting it underneath. So it helps to kind of have a memory of what, what it was doing when the sun was out because at the moment the sun is not out very much. might be thinking well, why are we here when this weather is a bit yucky and we've only just got here but tomorrow and the next day uh, is supposed to be really strong rain and lightning and so we thought we'd, wind as well yeah bigger wind than this so we thought we'd make the most of this little bit of weather window that we've got now I've accentuated that. Uh, I might have to come back to it. This is quite strong as well. I'm, 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 I feel like I need a bigger brush for that. And I'm going to use a lot of paint too because it's one of the lightest areas. off so there is a another roof just here but it's not catching the light as much as this one um, just seeing if there's anything else that is as strong as that as a bit there or whether I can have something in here it feels like I need something in that water not going to be me. <laughs> All my brushes, they keep getting blown away. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to, I'm using some of my sky mix mixed in with my water mix um, because it makes it a bit bluer and a bit lighter. Then it's like the light on the water. I'm using the way that the water is running I'm doing it the same um, the same way as my brush and I've noticed that there is a little bit of light in the water as well from that roof so I want to just get that to you can see it here it's almost like we planned that because I just zoomed in on that light yeah yeah Never missed a beat. Uh, what would I do without you? Uh. A bit there. Accentuating it too. Um, you know, look at, finding any kind of nice bits like light and things I can to, to lift, lift the subject. to this yacht. It's got some pretty colours on there. Um, I've used a cobalt and lemon yellow. Putting 
some of the, the ground in, which will give it some grounding. Um, the light is catching it, but I don't want it to be accentuated too much. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So you put a, t uh, a base in and then, you know, it's adjusting it. So I think this isn't quite right, this colour back there. white but not with direct light on it nice picture thank you I think the mast is slightly longer than I painted it but um, I wanted the end of it in the composition looks better if the it's top of it. the top yeah. yeah if it goes off it's not quite so pleasing um, in this situation so I I shortened it a little bit oh the wind just pulled my thing oh, smudged it annoying look at that it smudged it oh. Boo and double boo. Luckily you can wipe, but ideally you do it in one go. I'm going to put a little bit more detail um, up in the windows. I don't want to accept, you know, to make them too strong because they'll jump out too much. But they do need to be in there. Fish out there. <laughs> you need to do a little bit on me, please, Mr. B. Less, yep, on, less on the pelican. We need to just show what I was just doing then. These windows. I zoomed into the windows and then. What, my windows, what yeah. I'm doing on here? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'm sorry. I will take it back. But now you've painted them. I, I missed it. Can you <laughs> just take them out and do it again? No. Oh. looking at trying to get the all these shapes right um, I'm gonna use a what they called uh, Riga? of course you are good <laughs> thank you a rigger the end of this boat is quite important this this bit here Nice. Yeah, and it, it helps. So we've got a light going round as well. Light's being caught up on this top of these. I 
I tend to want to do this one than this one. I find this one more interesting than this. Um, so I have to kind of make myself go over to here and do it. He needs some windows too. He does, yeah. He needs some definition, doesn't he? He's not... Let's try and get this. That was better. Surprising, you do one little bit like that and it really helps. Um, they run out for long. <laughs> He's spotting. <laughs> 15 minutes is barely worth going, was it? <laughs> Maybe they've got lunch. Important things. I'm just looking for any bits of light. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to the windows now. On the yacht. There is, yes, there are big windows there, aren't there? Make it a little bit stronger. And, and across, I've made it too long. A different shape to what we have, um, these boats. I'm going to just accentuate a little bit more of these because they're quite dark. boat again, my favourite boat. Um, I'm working on some of these blue, this blue structure. It's kind of what I enjoyed. You know, when I looked at it, it's just like, oh, I want to do those blue bits. So I'm looking to see where the light is on these blues. I'm using um, cobalt with a little bit of raw amber in it. Now the sky, I've got, gone back to my sky brush, even though I haven't got much sky colour left. Um, and I'm going to work round because it's too fat. Two and working around. So I can um, get the shape right by using two brushes, you know, going in like that, and then going back with the other blue brush. made it a bit better. It kind of means that you know you don't have to worry about Opa, so windy it's blowing my arm. You know making a mistake with oils because you know you can always adjust. It's it's quite forgiving, much more forgiving than watercolour. I think it might be still a little bit fat. Blue bit there too. So I'm just looking for any other blue bits that I can put in. Um, I was just saying to Mr. B that I have no idea what time it is because I was up at half four because it was the equivalent of about I don't know half nine in the morning, I think, our time. And now it feels like it's mid-afternoon. 
uh, but it's just coming up for lunch so I'm quite pleased about that because I'm really hungry <laughs> so which, I think we're nearly getting there for this painting and you know I'm, I'm pleased with it uh, just filling in any kind of gaps um, it's all right to have some gap showing you know like little kind of ready bits showing through they look quite nice you know like these are a little bit cutty outy um, so I'm just softening some of the edges and it probably needs um, some branches too which I'm going to put in now against the sky it's darker than down here down there is lighter but up here it's darker but I don't want them too strong because they'll look you know too sharp but that's quite sharp he's still looking at us Getting there now? Yes, we are really there. I think um, I've just there's some netting. I put the nets in, but it hasn't got the structure around it. So I'm just going to get the structure in. Um, this yellowy colour. with my brush before I do it. Well, we got to the end and um, I think it's come out okay, I'm quite pleased. It has a nice light to it. Um, so this was in Shem Creek in South Carolina. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. Um, we've got through despite the weather, the wind, wow. Uh, enjoyed all the extra bits that happened today with the people being so friendly and that bird um, so yeah very cool I am doing some workshops with Mr B um, back in the UK next year spring and autumn so if you're interested do email us I'll put the details on on the description and subscribe to my channel as ever and like this video thank you very much for watching see you next time bye, bye.